Hey everybody, this is iLad and we are back with another episode of Indie Speed Dating. And today we are checking out A City Sleeps. Now, a City Sleeps is a game that I've played uh, a good bit before. I, I haven't put a ton of time into it. Um, it definitely deserves an Indie Speed Dating episode. I've never recorded any other video on it. And it is definitely a game where you need a good dual stick controller. So, yeah. As I kind of page through the menu here, you can see that, first of all, the menu is just gorgeous. Second of all, the soundtrack is very, very nice. In fact, I'm being completely serious when I say I listen to the soundtrack for this game in my car all the freaking time. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so what it is, you are kind of this cyberpunk dream hacker, which is uh, definitely an interesting concept. And you're going into people's dreams and fighting off, um, I'd take them to be kind of like computer viruses, but invading people's dreams. I don't know. It's a little weird. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just good, clean arcade fun. And we are going to jump into it right about now. Alright, so it has been just a little bit since I've played, so you're going to have to bear with me on the controls a little bit. Um, so I've captured these ghosts through gameplay. I think it starts you out with a couple of different ones. Um, and they come into play a little bit later. Right now I'm just kind of shooting nightmares or dream viruses or I don't know I don't know what the crap is going on actually like I said it doesn't really matter it's just arcade fun uh let's see there we go um so I just took that box whatever it represents and loaded it with the mercy spirit which is sending out little healing burst refill my hit points. The interface for this is pretty weird. It's, it's probably its its least helpful feature to be honest. Um, so what you got going on is that there's a little green dot on my character and that's the part that I actually need to prevent being hit by enemies and enemy blasts and stuff. So like they can shoot bullets through my head because my head is not that little green dot. I think actually the hitbox for the dot is a little bit bigger than it would look like, but in any case, so that's a little weird. Um, I don't know, it's, just a, it's a very flash gamey kind of feel. And there's some kind of Tremendous power I can unleash when I get that green number all the way up, and I don't remember how that works. Let's see, so I'm going to load this with... How do I change? Loyalty. There we go. Anger. I'm going to load this with anger. So what anger is going to do is send out pulses of damage. Actually, that's a bad plan now I'm thinking about it. Let's do pulses of healing. Like I say, I'm a little rusty on this game. The square boxes do pulses, like that. And then the triangle boxes do, um, burst. And it's actually... Boom. I want pulses of, uh, or bullets of anger coming out of that guy. And area effect healing coming out of this guy. I 
Yeah. For those of you who are old enough to remember the Flash games era, though, like, this is probably a little bit on the nostalgic side for you, huh? Anyway, um, I have trouble with bullet hell type games. Um, especially twin stick bullet hells, because like, I'm so busy dodging that I'm not really doing a great job of aiming. Ow. Not doing a great job of dodging either, as far as that goes. Ow. But... Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Alright, so this is the level boss. Um, it's a little insane. You see that I've got a melee attack when I get in close enough. I don't know how its strength compares to my ranged attack. Forget which part. Oh, this is the part I'm supposed to be hitting right now. Down there. The design of the boss is actually pretty awesome. I don't. Uh, boss gameplay gets a little repetitive and tedious here. Of course, this is like the beginning level. Ow. This gets much harder in other levels. The difficulty curve on this is actually pretty steep, in my opinion. Like, this isn't too bad. I have serious trouble after this level. <laughs> after the beginning level of each track. Cool. Alright, so now we're back at my apartment. I have... In theory, if you know, if this is my first time playing, I've now unlocked uh, this, which is kind of the next level of this same dream. Uh, if I remember correctly, like it's the same course with the same boss, but just harder. So let's uh, let's pick a different dream, a different course. Oh, whoops! Let's see how this does. Oh, is that anger? I actually wanted mercy on the pulse. You can see that, like, 
Kind of like Guitar Hero, you kind of have to be doing something to make the full track play. This is neat. Like if I'm not shooting or whatever, we lose part of the music. And then the pulses from my little spirit box things happen uh, in time with the music as well. It's not really a rhythm game though, like visual elements kind of work with the, the rhythm, but I don't have to do anything to, to match the rhythm. This is good, that's not really, oh, not really my strong suit. Actually, kind of wishing I'd decided to do the voiceover after recording rather than while playing because it's kind of hard for me to say anything much. Well, I'll try not to completely embarrass myself. Alright, I hate these guys. Alright, what am I? Give me some, oh, give me some good anger on this. So these guys are right pains. Very spongy enemy. Not really, not really a huge fan of that. Oh, yep, that is a bad dude. Mercy. I'm probably going to die on camera. That's okay. You can see how my rate of fire is slowed down as the tempo is slowed. Thankfully, enemy attacks are kind of timed to match that, so it's not really a big deal. Mercy. Well, oh dear. Loyalty, anger. Yeah, this is exactly as much of a pain to do as it looks like. I like this game, I really do, but um, I kind of have a limit to how long I'm willing to play it in one session, you know? Just stuff like this. And it takes away from my enjoyment of it. 
All right. Oh, come on. How close am I to the boss? Come on. Mercy. Really should probably try loyalty, but I really don't remember what it does. It makes me less inclined to waste one of my turret slots on it. I don't really know what these are called either. There's a word for them. You can see exactly how much the lore or plot matters to gameplay. Like, it's, you know. It really doesn't. Okay. Please tell me it's boss time. I'm ready for something new. Yes. Alright. Boss time. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't hit the grayed out dude. I should probably have seen that right away. All right, yeah, I remember this boss. I hate this boss. Ow. Like this half isn't so bad. Time to be very precise with a worn out Xbox controller. Oh, hey, cool, I did it. <laughs> anyway, I trust you have kind of an idea of how this game works. It's cool, um, I really do like it. Let me see what loyalty does. Uh, da, 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 da. Halts movement and firing temporarily. Yeah, okay. Just kind of slows the enemies. A little debuff for them. And then the jukebox. You can basically play any song that you've unlocked, which is really awesome. Yeah, I like this. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If it feels like this is your kind of game, it is a nice little game to just chill out for a little bit with. You can check it out. It is on Steam. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If so, you might consider uh, doing a little nod in the direction of the subscribe button, please, if you haven't already. Uh, and I hope to see you back for the next one. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.